Hello guys and welcome. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get Cyberpunk 2077 working on the cloud streaming service NVIDIA GeForce Now. Thank you for watching the video so far. Remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and ring the bell to help with the YouTube algorithm. Now back to the video. So streaming platforms are basically a way that you have a server stream the game to your computer but let's say you're having technical issues your pc is not quite strong enough to render the game how you would like it to be played on max settings and so on you can use this this sort of software so link in the description and this nvidia.com for slash geforce now the first step is to download the application so click on the download tab and then you select which platform you want to get it on if you want to get it on mac windows and so on and you can even put it on mobile if you want. And what you also have is a membership. So with the membership, you have the Founders Edition, which is $4.99 a month in the UK, or I think it's $5.99 in US. And what that offers you is extended session length, RTX on, so you can turn on ray tracing, and one month savings, because you basically get six months for the price of five. And But then you also get priority access. So when massive games like this uh, come out, such as Cyberpunk, then the queues on the first day can be kind of a little bit longer, but it's not so bad. And then you see here where it says one hour session length. What that means is if you're using the free version, it means you play for an hour, you then have to close the app and reopen it. It's a mild inconvenience, but it will allow you to play it for free. But with the founders, you have extended, so you can play up to six hours at a time before you have to restart the app. And the app does give you plenty of warning of when that six hours is coming to an end. There's also support if you have any issues and so on. Now, I personally have gone for this because I think this is um, a good a deal, basically to allow me to throw on the maximum setting with an NVIDIA Tesla P40. Now, uh, the other thing as well is uh, it does depend on the quality and the speed of your internet connection. And if you're in a good location to get a good connection to the servers. So, but there is something in the app that allows you to test for that. So after you've downloaded the app and you've installed it, uh, this is what you'll be greeted with. So the application is installed. You can see your account information at the top right. You can see I'm a founders. So at the top left, you can go here, you can click on settings. And what you can do is you can mess around with the settings. Uh, but what I recommend to do first of all is to just make sure that everything is good for your connection and that you're connected to the best server. The way you do that, where it says here, server location, um, you say test network. And then it will test your connection to the G4 server through the internet, and it will select which servers you should connect to. If you would like to connect to other ones, it's up to you. So as you can see, uh, bandwidth, more I have more than 50. I don't have, there's not, so my connection is great. Basically, it's working fine. And I've ramped up the settings to the absolute maximum because I don't have any sort of cap with my internet so I don't have a limited amount of data or anything like that but you do have these different modes here for streaming quality you have balanced it says takes full advantage of the bandwidth to deliver the best possible image quality and gameplay and it will use approximately 10 gigabytes per hour you have data saver so it will minimize the amount of data it uses while playing or delivering decent image quality um, and so but you might find, especially if you're playing at 1080p, that this is a little bit blurry. But again, it depends on your internet. Then you have competitive, where it says, optimizes your streaming settings to deliver the lowest possible latency during gameplay. And that's important if you're playing uh, games which require like very low latency, such as um, any Battle Royale game and so on. But I threw it on custom just for the sake of ramping up to the absolute maximum. So I've said 1080p, 60fps with VSync because my monitors are at 60fps and so on. And then what one big advantage of GeForce Now is that you can link Steam, you can link GOG, you can link 
Epic Game Store. You can even link Uplay to it as well. So as we can see here, I have Cyberpunk 2077 on GOG. I've got Watch Dogs Legion on Uplay, and I've got Tomb Raider on Steam. So it allows me to bring in most of the games that I have. So it's a very simple process. So let's now launch uh, Cyberpunk 2077 and see if we can get anything out of this. Because unfortunately, in my case, I do have a very powerful PC. So I've got an RTX 2080, I've got an i9-9900K CPU, but given that Cyberpunk is so demanding, I can't get really good performance out of it, especially when I'm streaming. So uh, let's click play. Then you see, then it starts to load the game. Analyzing the network. It doesn't do this every time, but every now and then it sort of refreshes itself. And the first time it will prompt you to log in um, if you want to connect it to GOG and so on. Now you do have to own the game already. So the game doesn't like come for you as part of GeForce Now. GeForce Now is just allowing you to play the game on uh, the platform, on the GeForce Now platform, uh, based on what you own. Whereas Google Stadia, you need to actually buy the games um, on the, the Google Stadia platform itself. Now, I want to show you how good this actually looks, because this might actually save Cyberpunk for me. I think it's, that's part of the reason I was motivated to make this video. And it does support controller as well. So this is all being streamed um, from the GeForce Now servers. So if I go to settings um, and I go to graphics, we can see um, this, these are the settings I've put. Everything on the highest, ultra, high, so on. Ray tracing is on. Ray tracing is on ultra. And um, it's up to you if you want to use uh, DLSS. Um, you can put it on quality or you can put it on performance to maximize the uh, performance of, of the game or ultra performance if you want it at like high resolution. And you also can use these Fidelity FX, uh, which are is basically like almost the equivalent of the AMD um, of DLSS, which is very, it's, it's interesting that that's available on GeForce now. Um, but let, let's go back to where we were. So let's close that. And then let's see other settings in the game, gameplay. Uh, just for the sake of this uh, video, I'm going to switch Unity off. Yep, so Nudity Sensor is on. And then um, Audio. If you're a streamer or a content creator, there is a toggle to mute copyrighted music. So I, I would recommend to switch that on as well. And then, yeah, so we're good to go. And I've, I had to lower the volume down to make sure it doesn't blast my ears. But that's just the typical thing of games. So let's do new game. I'm going to throw it on, I guess, hard mode. I start as Nomad. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a, a random character. Uh, okay, that'll do. Next. Then let's just put random points. And two extra points in intelligence. Now the game is launching. So I do think it's pretty amazing. It looks pretty damn good considering it's running remotely. Uh, and I want to obviously see how well it works. And I want to show you how well it works. So it might give you a chance to play this game with RTX on if you have a viable internet connection and you're able to get it to run smoothly. Uh, load. What are you on about? Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. Oh. Uh, traditionally, I, I like picking up the controller and driving. 
But yeah, as you can see, the game looks absolutely fantastic. The streaming platform. So I would say that GeForce Now is definitely viable. It's a viable way to play the game on PC. I mean, look at it. Solid FPS. And then in OBS as well, there's no issues whatsoever. So part of the reason why I was having problems playing this game is because I, I use a single PC setup. And it was glitching like hell to capture an OBS. But because this is a different application and the computer is not strained whatsoever by the game because it's not being rendered on the computer, then OBS can run full speed. Basically, I've got a very powerful streaming PC at the moment. So, look at that. This is what Cyberpunk is supposed to look like um, if you have the absolute top end of graphics enabled. You can see the texture quality is great. The lighting is really good. It's all very sharp. It's all by anti-aliased. But it's it's a case of... I mean, I'm not Digital Foundry, so I'm not going to go into the uh, like that much. But um, as I said, from a streaming point of view and a gaming point of view, this is definitely a viable option. So if you have a good solid internet connection and you're able to ramp it up at more than 50 megabits download, then I would really, really recommend to try GeForce Now out. So let's, um, I'm going to keep playing and I'm going to highlight part of the intro as I go along to again show you what it's like. Head got nitpicking. And that ain't normal? Not to that extent. Smelling trouble around the bend? Drive, Jackie, just drive. Someone's coming our way. Let's get out of here. On it. There we go. You are transporting contraband that is corporate property. I repeat, stop the car. Yeah. Okay. I'll draw a weapon. <laughs> Game looks great, guys. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. Hopefully, this has given you a good idea of what the game can look like on GeForce Now. It is definitely a viable option. It will, even in my case, I said I have an RTX 2080 and an i9 CPU, and this is better. Simple as that. So, check it out. Well. Check out GeForce Now in the description and um let me know what you think let me know in those comments down below have you ever used streaming software what do you think of it and so on anyway guys that's it for this video if you liked it be sure to give it a thumbs up you can watch around the video over there you can watch the latest upload down there or you can click down here to subscribe thank you guys bye bye